Alright, this is our Yesterday's Moose production, and we're back with Monster World 4 on the Sega Genesis Mini, or the Mega Drive, whichever you prefer. We continue our adventure in this Dream Sanctuary. Also, we continue our mission of trying to find all of the life drops. Fortunately, I have a handy dandy guide which tells me how many life drops I'm supposed to have and how many life drops I will end up by the end of this area. So that way we can assure ourselves that we have collected all of the life drops. Here we go. Fire blocks the way. So what do we do? We get Pepperugu to blow it out. As per usual, Pepperugu is very helpful. And Pepperugu will have yet another use later on. Oh no, I missed the chest. Usually these areas go in a loop so you can visit where you have been with the exception of one area towards the end of uh, this section. Gold bar obtained. I will point it out when we get there because that's where a life drop is that we have to make sure not to miss. Where am I supposed to go? Down here? Yes, I think so. Yes. Here we go. Jump over those things because they cause you damage and not only that, they force you back to the beginning of whatever area you are currently in. This is the life of yesterday's moose playing games. By the way, it is also yesterday's moose thing to have large gaps between uploads. And also the reason for that is watching movies. I'm going through my never-ending task of replacing all my DVDs with Blu-rays. So of course I have to watch the Blu-rays to make sure that they are alright. And various appointments that I have to go to and just life in general. Playing games. I like to do that a lot. And uh, there's editing involved with recording. You can fill a bucket with water here. Yes, very important. I don't have a bucket yet. That's where we will fill it with water. So yeah, editing takes a while. It's a whole process in and of itself. And one day I might do a video just about how I edit these. Make sure to jump out here, by the way, to get this or you will go in yet another loop. And it's a healing medicine. So maybe you don't have to go in here if you already have a healing medicine. But remember that it's there. There's also a life drop there. Can't get it quite yet, but we saw it. So this section really isn't quite a maze. But I suppose you could get caught in a few loops or go the wrong way. There's some fire. We can't blow it out with Pepe Lugu. Fire blocks away. We actually have to fill up a bucket, which we will eventually get, with water and throw it on the fire to put it out. I got hit by that enemy. My advice to you is wait until they attack before you go attacking them. If you're not sure, oh, <laughs> if you're not sure if they're going to attack or not, use your shield because otherwise you get hit like I did, twice, three times. Because it's just like me to point out something that you should not do and then go ahead and do it. Sometimes I feel like I should just record myself playing it and then comment on it afterwards. But that wouldn't be the greatest. It wouldn't be as fresh, so to speak. Ok, 
Okay, so here we can go in this thing to go back into the loop if we need to. Or we can just blow out the fire and go this way. And we're back here at the place that I should have gone the first time. I got a heart for my trouble, but otherwise it's pointless to go that way. Yet, you have to go in here first. And why is that? Because of this chest. Finally, we get a bucket. And by the way, if I had fallen this way before, I would go into a loop and have to go all the way around again. Alright, more fancy editing because I'm messing things up. I'm going to go this way. Now that I have the bucket. And what do you know, I can fill up water. Stuck in the loop. Okay, meet you by the fire. And we're back at the fire. Finally, alright. Use the bucket with the water. Goodbye, fire. this point on, hopefully I'll be more careful and go the correct way, but no promises because I usually intend to go the right way and end up not. This section is a little bit tricky because you have to pick the right way. Otherwise, once again, you end up in a loop. So what I usually do is just go in each location. Oh, I want to go here. Yeah, I go in each location and get any items that I need before going the correct way, which I'm already forgetting. Which way is the correct way? Now be real careful here. Wait for this guy to attack, and then try to take him out. Okay, I didn't jump away in time. That's alright. That's okay. Life drops. Okay, it did not need to go this way, but good. At least we know where it leads. this exit set the other side. Yep. Also not where we need to go, but important to see nonetheless. So now we know, go into the far right, you can pretty much ignore these unless you absolutely need to loop yourself back. And take the far left. And we 
we got another one of these situations. But this time I absolutely remember where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go right. So, first, go up here, put out this fire, get some more life drops, so we're supposed to have seven blue hearts and seven life drops by the end of this. Keep that in mind. We got our bucket filled again. It's time to go through the loop. Brings us back here. And now there's another fire. It's also a good idea to loop yourself back to fill up the bucket once again to be prepared for the next time you need it. in the bucket. Complete the loop. Go to the far left. are going to get more tricky now, so you want to make sure you're here? Yes. If you're too high, you might hit the ceiling. If you're too low, you might not make the jump. Collect some gold. Oh no! Well, that's what happens when you hit one of those things. tricky that and it didn't hit the ceiling either whatever I still say it's a good idea not to be too close to the ceiling but do whatever works Again. Seriously, the first time I did this, I did not hit any of these things. Unfortunately, there's some hearts. Doesn't really refill too much of your life, but they're they are there. Ag.
Okay, here we go. This is the tricky part. First, you want to make sure to collect all the gold. Which basically involves uh, falling down each of these water spouts, I'll call them. There's a life drop over there. There we go, got the life drop. Time to move on. Got ourselves a handy dandy heart machine here. Uh, I'll buy three. I have very much gold by the end of this, but I do have those two gold bars. Is it two gold bars? No, it's just one gold bar. What am I talking about? Two. Mini boss time. Fortunately, mini boss. Oh no! I didn't need to spend that 300 gold. Because I'm gonna get a big heart for defeating this bird. Great. So keep that in mind. Don't buy any hearts that you don't need. To just call my playthrough What Not to Do in Monster World 4. And of course, those little guys hung around just to deplete some hearts. Isn't that nice? So, there's a trick to these, but I, I already know how to get through it. There's something that we need to do before that. Okay, now that we have this full bucket, does the flame, and hey, it's that guy from that place in town. He's the father of that little boy. Give me water, he says. And I think the little boy would have said that he had left. Yeah, I think he did. So now we're faced with a choice. Do we get him water or not? I am going to get him water. But I will also show what happens when you don't get him water. But for now, we're going to go through this tunnel. Fill the bucket with water. I believe this is the last time we fill it with water, so we won't need to go in a loop to fill it again. Ok, 
Okay, I shall make a save state here. And once again, that's for next time. Next video. So I've saved him. Phew! I feel like a new man. Thank you for saving my neck. In return, I'll tell you about the secret door. Listen to me carefully. Go back to the stairs and extinguish only the second and fourth flames. Good luck to you. Oh wait, does he say anything else after? Oh, he says the same thing again, okay. Good to know. Glad that this next boss is easy, so I won't really lose that many hearts, hopefully. So don't put out this one. Okay, put out the second one. And the fourth one. Really doesn't matter whether you blow out the fourth one first or not. Either way, this secret passage will open up. Grab another bar of gold. Okay, that's why I thought I had two bars of gold. Because that. Call Pepe Lagoo if you fall into the water. Yes, hold up underwater to slow yourself. That is important stuff. Make sure you have Pepe Le Goo to slow your descent, but don't have them too close to the ceiling. Because, okay, not here, but other places. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just mean there's a possibility that you'll slide off of these platforms. Okay, that's what happens when you get in the water. Oh, that was funny, Pepe the Goo. So be careful of these water guys. They will pop up and hurt you if you're not careful. Okay, here, right here, if you hold Pepe Le Goo, you'll slide off for some unknown reason. See, it was relevant. It was good information. this guy. Where is he? Come back. Where are ya? Oh, pff, now you show up. Oh, he gives me a heart. That's, that's actually useful. Money would be good, but heart is slightly better right now. Get off here or you will be put into a loop. Okay. We want to get that life drop, so we got to let let her fall. Oh. I was trying not to get hit by it. I 
forgot to blow out this, or did I? Was it open before? Either way, now I can go down here. See, in regards to how I'm playing is also why I held off so long from making a Let's Play of this game. Because I'm not very good at it. Of all the Wonder Boy titles or Monster World titles, this is the one I'm least familiar with. Don't throw anything in without good reason. Keep that in mind, without a good reason. Toss in the bucket. Ho ho ho! Answer me this! That object you just threw in, was that... a silver bucket? Now... Let me save. I can't remember what he says when you tell him the wrong answer. So we'll see together. Yeah, sure. Don't lie to me now. Let's try that again. Now what happens if you just keep lying to him? Does it actually do anything? Zero consequence. Great. Alright. No, it wasn't a silver bucket. Alright, then was it a gold bucket? No. It wasn't the bucket of legend, was it? Nope. Well, you seem to be pure at heart. You may be able to save the moon spirit. Now prepare for battle and dive into this well! So this boss, pretty easy. Ha ha ha! I'm the water wizard! <laughs> it's no use saving the spirits now. <laughs> Everything is going according to our plan. <laughs> we couldn't have the spirits interfering. <laughs> so we locked them up. Now. <laughs> Time to do battle. So this phase, whoops, mostly just going left and right, attacking. Unlike I was doing <laughs> at the beginning, try not to move too much. Now in this phase, you just want to avoid being hit by the black legs. The blue legs, okay, not too much, or not too bad. Oh no, I'm being caught in the corner! Once again, showing what not to do... There we go. As you can see, now I'm in the pattern. Should be fairly easy from this point. Which is something I usually say before taking massive amounts of damage. Sometimes you can hit the legs twice, but I find it's better just to hit it once, because then you're sure not to get hurt. Hooray! Okay, so I have two, four, six, seven blue hearts and seven life drops, so ready to go. This guy was also in... Wonder Boy and Monster World, one of your buddies that helped you out. Thank you for saving me. I am the Moon Spirit. The Water Wizard trapped me here. The people of the city are in danger. Yes, it is so. 
Evil darkness is ever closer to the city. Time is short. The sun spirit is in the desert pyramid. Please save him. The darkness must not spread any further. And we're going back to Rapidagna. And that's it. That's everything we're going to pick up again in the town and also show what happens when you don't save that guy. So thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production. Now, see you next time.